guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today uh yeah welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a weekly check-in and i'm also going to be restuffing my mini cash envelopes and i'm going to be doing two savings challenges if you are new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by if you love what you see here please consider subscribing and join this family if you are returning thank you so much for coming back so, that being said, I'm going to go into my check-in real quick. So, here is my monthly spread. This is what it's looking like so far. So, my week typically starts from the, from on Fridays because I go, to, well, yeah, on Fridays because I go to the grocery store on Fridays. So, to shop for the week ahead. So I went to um, Walmart on the 11th. I did a big spending. I usually go to Winko, but that day I was just too tired. So I went straight to Walmart and I spent $150. I usually don't spend this much if I go to Winko. So I spent $150. Then the next day, Saturday, I put some gas in my car and Winko. I went back to Winko because I went to Winko because I need to pick up some things. And we did not do any spending until the 17th. I went to CVS to do some couponing and then I put some gas in my car again. I've been driving a lot because my son has, my son needs to go to basketball practice twice a week and then, then my daughter stayed for tutoring I think this week as well but, but, but two days. So I've been spending I've been doing a lot of, a lot more driving than I usually do. So, so that's all the spending that I did. I, I only went to the store three times because my week was super busy at work and I've been working nine straight hours without taking lunch breaks because it was, this payroll week is just, when we have payroll running, it's just very busy for me. So yeah, that's all my spending. Now I'm going to be laying down my no spend stickers real quick. And here is my no spend stickers. I usually buy two at a time and I, I believe I used them for like two months or two and a half months. So, so this week we had one, two, three, four no spends. Yeah, and that's just because I didn't I didn't even have the time to go to the store. Well, I don't like to go to the store multiple times a week, anyways. That's why because I do meal planning and meal plan, so I mostly have everything I need when I go to the grocery store. That way, I don't have to keep going back in the store because as every time you walk in the store, you spend money. I'm going to link the Etsy shop that I got this from in the description box. They, I got them from Tina of uh, Pinky Cloth Life. I will link her in the description in case you need some no spend stickers. And that is that about my monthly spread. Let me go to my weekly check-in section. And it's right here. Yeah, our budget for this week for groceries was $200 and I spent a total of $185.83. Gas, I spent everything. It was $20 for a start. I spent it all. Company, I spent $12. We have $8 left. Eating out, we did not spend it. My kids, my oldest wasn't home this weekend. So, and then the, the other kids, we had Chinese food that I got for my spending money. And I did not include my spending money here. I, I, I think I should be including it. I don't know. I don't want to keep track of my spending. I just want to spend it without keeping track of it. And once I finish spending it, it's that's it. How do you guys keep? Do you keep track of your personal spending? I really don't want to do that. I don't want to restrict myself too much. I'm already restricting myself. I don't want to do that with my personal spending. As long as I have it in my wallet. So I did not include it here. Well, so we still have our eating our money, $25. Mr. Linus, I spent six. I have four left. And that is going to do it for my check-in. So I'm going to go ahead and unstuff my wallet real quick. And food has um, 10... Uh, 11 12 13 14 15 16 actually i have 16 dollars oh yeah i remember what happened 
I found these two daughters lying around in my daughter's room. I was cleaning the room the other day, the weekend she wasn't home, and I found these two daughters lying around, so I just picked it up. I don't care. It's my money anyway. It might be my money anyway, so I picked it up. So, gas is empty. Couponing. So you may not be seeing gas anymore next month. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still think thinking of what to do. Coupon has one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eating now still has the old twenty-five dollars left. So spending is gone. We use it all to buy Chinese food. I love Chinese rice. Especially, well, my favorite is beef fried rice with shrimps. So Mr. Leonard has one, two, three, four dollars left. So in total let's see how much um we actually didn't do very bad this week 20 25 dollars that's kind of close to what I have left left over last week too. And here is my coins. I'm going to be transferring this into my coin counter real quick. Let's see how much we're starting with today. We have $43.83. So I'm going to go ahead and put these coins in here and I'll be right back. So now we have $44.43. I'm going to move that out of my way and then I will put my leftover money up for the week. Um, if you, in case you are new here and you are wondering what I do with my rollover money, sometimes I use them for, to do savings challenges. Sometimes I don't. I just put everything together and by the end of the month, I will either roll it back into my savings challenges for the following month or put right now we are paying down our home depot credit card so i've been taking some of my rollover to pay to do extra payment on the home depot credit card so by the time i finish on the home depot credit card everything will probably be going to my savings challenges and my travel binder so far we have 50 70 90 100, 105, 110, 115, 116, 17, 18, 19, 120, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I have $133 left over so far for the month. So I don't know what's going to happen this week. So I don't know. My goal is to have at least $200 left over here. I don't know we'll see so i'm going so oh yeah i already got my money out from here because this is where i keep all my money for the whole month i just come here and get what i need for the week so i already got it out i have them here yeah because i get paid only once a month i, I don't want to to get everything out and put them in my wallet and it's, it's just not i can't be walking around with one thousand dollars of groceries for the woman if i lose this wallet i'm going to cry so i just put in what i need for the week so i'm stuffing a total of 305 dollars today into my mini wallets my more term wallets and also i'm going to be doing two savings challenges today so the first envelope is going to be groceries and my grocery budget for the week is 200 dollars I don't have the intention of spending all $200. I always want to have leftovers because the leftovers help me with my challenges. Gas will be getting $20 this week. Because yeah, we have games on Saturday. We have a party to go to and practice next week. So yeah, coupon is going to be getting 20. I'm slowly getting back into the groove of couponing. Yeah, slowly getting back. Everything is getting too so expensive, so I need to go back to couponing. Eating out, what we're getting is usual twenty-five dollars. 
spending i'm gonna leave it empty i'm not sure if you noticed any interruptions my daughter literally just called me from the house phone i am in here in my room recording trying to finish this recording and start cooking dinner and she's calling me from the house phone i don't know how she figured it out she's only three i don't know how she knows how to call she's calling my cell phone so spending is going to be empty today i yeah i'm not going to put anything in here today and then miscellaneous will be getting ten dollars every time i said i was going to switch these envelopes up because i want to be exchanging them every week i just don't want to do i don't want to let go i think i'm just going to switch i'm going to be using them every month so i'm going to use this for the old month and in march i will switch to my old pink ones my former pink ones are not hold i just got them too then the next month i'll my birthday month i'll be going back to this one so i'm gonna be switching them up every month yes so that is gonna be it for my more term wallets now on to my savings challenges here's my savings challenge book the first challenge i'm doing is my monthly challenge guys if you are interested in any of these challenges please check them out in my shops in the description i'm going to link them and i still have sales going on 10 percent up going on for the rest of the month so don't forget to check them out if you like any of these challenges so today i'm going to be i'm going to do my february challenge so i'm going to be coloring another heart today which is worth 20 dollars Okay, so I have my twenty dollars colored in, and for the month I only have one more to do, and I'm gonna be doing that next week. So this is gonna be going into my monthly challenge, and I'm gonna be putting it in here. The rest of the money. Yes, this is for January and this is uh, already in the bank and for February I have $80 so far. All of my monthly challenges are $100 each. So by the end of the year my monthly challenge will be $1,200. And then the last challenge I'm going to be doing today is my Easter Bunny Challenge. Easter is just around the corner and I'm trying to finish this challenge so I can have the money ready to put together my kids Easter baskets and maybe get some decorations from the Dollar Tree if I have enough time to do a decorate with me video for my other channel so today I'm gonna be using color uh, purple so I'm gonna color one bunny in and I'll be right back So guys, I am back and I have one cute little bunny colored in and I'm going to be going to my envelope here. I'm still all the way behind in coloring this mini <laughs> tracker and I really, really want to finish this challenge on time. So I really want, I'm hoping to finish this challenge real quick so I can get Go ahead and get my Easter baskets together for the kids. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching me to this time. I really appreciate you so much. I would love to talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.